You may know that a very long time ago, all the land on Earth was merged into one supercontinent. Due to tectonic plates moving, the supercontinent broke apart and slowly became the seven continents we see today, which are nowhere near each other. But have you ever heard of a continent that went missing? And if such a thing is possible, how on Earth are they found again? In recent years, the once hypothesised landmass in the Southern Hemisphere, now known as Zealandia, has become increasingly popular for scientific research. In fact, at the end of 2023, Zealandia became the first continent to be completely mapped out, even though 95% of it is underwater. And yet Zealandia is not the only submerged continent out there, and scientists are beginning to understand them better than ever. Continents are often defined by their geography, but in reality this is only part of the picture. Instead, geology plays an important role in our understanding of what makes a continent. This includes how thick it is, what rocks it's made of, and where it is below sea level. Continental crust, for instance, differs from oceanic crust in that it is typically older, thicker, less dense, and has a more varied composition. Then, through the power of tectonic movement over the years, some landmasses can drop below the surface of the water and therefore off the map. However, advances in imaging software, seismography and centuries of mapping efforts are now providing new insights into continents that were lost to the depths long ago. There is another continent that has not only sunk below the surface, but has also vanished into the Earth's mantle. Today, the only visible remnants of a continent known as Greater Adria are limestone and other rocks found in the mountain ranges of southern Europe. About 240 million years ago, around the Triassic period, a chunk of continental crust separated from North Africa. This landmass was roughly the size of Greenland. After its separation from Africa, Greater Adria gradually sunk beneath the waters, where it became home to tropical coral reefs. Then, sometime around 100 or so million years ago, it started to slide under Europe and into the mantle. During its descent, parts of Greater Adria remained above the surface. Through a process called off-scraping, the top layers of sedimentary rock came free and created the mountain ranges that cut through Italy, Turkey and Greece today. So while there are now rocks from Greater Adria scattered across 30 different countries, there is also a part of the lost continent that remains, stretching from the north of Italy down to its boot. This region is known as Adria. At the same time as this was going on, a large chunk of land broke away from Western Australia. This piece was about the size of North America, which then drifted into the Indian Ocean. Argoland, as it's known, then broke apart and disappeared from the map. Argoland was most conspicuous for the void it left behind, the Argo Abyssal Plain. However, recent research has potentially located parts of Argoland in an unexpected place, the jungles of Southeast Asia. The explanation is that Argoland probably broke up into smaller islands a lot earlier than previously thought. Then its pieces all moved northwards towards Southeast Asia during the late Jurassic era. Now it seems there are chunks of this long lost continent in parts of present day Myanmar and Indonesia. Thank you for watching IFL Science. Be sure to subscribe for more science videos.